hi guys this is Kelly once again from bond machines and today I will be reviewing the Singa model 319k sewing machine okay um, I actually done the 319m earlier in my video and that's the it has a black um, model but it's virtually the same thing um, I would quickly run through the features of this one do some couple of stitches and also um, show you some other things that the machine can do okay before i continue don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification button so you can get updates on videos and on general machine maintenance all right quickly run through the features it has a double thread stand okay which you can use for your twin needle and also it has this um finger like structure i usually call it the finger singer right and this lever they all have um, their design attached to it. So when you move any of the levers here, you're sewing the design that is attached to it. All right. Now, um, it uses this cam also, which is this. And you can actually control it with this um, lever. Right. Okay. Now, right here, you have um, the adjuster for the pressure of the footer. Okay. All right. It has this um, small carriage where you can easily pull it off and carry it around. Quite comfortable. Now right here you have the needle positioning, which is this lever here. It makes the uh, machine to go the left, middle and right. Okay, this is useful when you're sewing your buttonhole. All right, and some also use it on the zipper. Okay, so but this is the, um, the left or right lever control. Right here you have the lever that controls the stress stitch and the zigzag. This being the indicator. Okay, once it's on zero like this, um, you haven't you sewing the regular stretch stitch and once you move this lever a bit or to any of these numbers from one to five here you're sewing the pattern either this one here or this or near the discount here now right here you have the tension it uses the ha at the db needle types all right um, um it uses the industrial um shuttle and bobbin mechanism okay they have one here couple of shadow and um, bobbin and rather and you have this lever which controls the stitch length regulator okay that this so once you go beyond the zero mark you're sewing your back stitching right now it comes with the electric motor which is easily at the back and this is the light bulb for night sewing and but for the purpose of this video I will be using the treadle because most of my customers and viewers they always request for me to use the treadle part so I'll be using the treadle which is the manual part of the machine to work with all right now right here you have the bobbin winder which is in um, winding the bobbin i'll quickly wind the bobbin and do some stitches with the bobbin now okay winding the bobbin is quite easy from the thread stand here any of the thread stand here you go all the way through here then you go down to this point here you have this um this part here has a spring that stretches the thread then what you just do is get your bobbin and you do some one around the bobbin okay let's see a couple of one and that's it you place it inside make sure um this place here keys into this um, protrusion here all right so once you just did that you bring it down then when you sew So once you're done, you can be able to, once you get the enough wand you've got, you just press this open and snap it out. All right. So that's how you wind your bobbin. All right. And turning the machine from the trend stand as usual to here, then you make sure this footer is raised up so you can pass through any of the tension plates. It has a double tension plate here, it passes through any one of them. And um, from there, you just pass it through this place. All right then it goes through um this carrier here all right then goes all the way there's a two um side um alignment there just make sure it passes through the first one all right sorry first and the second one all right then this last one here then you go from left to right tread from front to back rather all right so i'll just go through it um in a moment from the tread stand down to this point into the tension then it goes all the way up to this here which is this that goes up and down thread carrier then two side um 
pins here goes through here and here then goes through this one then you thread from the needle from front to back it uses a front oscillatory um, mechanism so you thread from front to back all right okay haven't threaded the needle inserting the regular straight stitch i told like i said earlier this has to be on zero okay this is the indicator and i'm using the highest stitch length okay remember you can actually adjust this but i'm using the highest stitch length so when i sew through now all right there you have it that's the back of the fabric okay the reverse side that's the front all right so you can actually reduce the stitch length um i say i give it a number 25 here and when i go okay there you see you guys a much much more reduced um stitch length right now if you want to sew um the any of the design the zigzag like i say you just have to move this i'm using the largest um, um zigzag length which is five then i want to use um the first lever i'll just like three i'll raise this up all right this is the one i'm using okay so once you raise it up what you're gonna sew that's for the first one and you can actually make the stitch length a little bit closer so what you do is just to close this a bit then i want to use this b here so okay while on that i just want to bring it down use the c that I'll just um, bring it down use the D okay and while on that I will use um, the E guys there you have it the different combinations of the um zigzag this is so all the um the inbuilt um design the machine so i'll quickly go um i'll quickly um change this on this cam so you can see the other pattern when you're using a disc cam to sew so i i have a couple of disc cam i'll be able to use for these um, projects now what you do is just um unscrew this and take it out then i'll start with this I'll make sure this um, place enters into this protrusion here so what i do is i just put it in and screw that back in and i just raise this lever up because i want to work with us was on the disc cam push it back to five and when i sew Okay guys, there you have it. I like the design. So you can actually change this again. What you just have to do is to bring it down, um, take it off and put it on this cam. Okay, I think I'll be using this. Screw that in and raise it up again. So. so 
there you have it guys that is another design on its own and, and all that so basically um this is the the singer 319k now like i said earlier on you can use this um needle positioning for your buttonhole okay i actually did a video on how to use your single machine to do that but pretty much this is an amazing machine made in the great britain interesting soft and very very strong you know it's very very um free in terms of using the um the manual pie which is the treadle i was using i'm using the video so make sure um when you get it um it's a very strong machine and you're gonna enjoy it thank you so much guys for watching and god bless you